Access granted. All right. Hey, what's going on, YouTube fans? Now, let me go ahead and get my stuff all set up for you. And we're going to get into We got Tom McDonald, Cheapo. All right, Tom, let's see what you got going on. So, with that being said, Tom McDonald, Miranda writes, you have a right to be an independent artist. You have a right to make all the music you got to do. You have a right to sit here and destroy any rapper who comes your way. You have a right to a producer. And if you can't get Nova or yourself to make the beats, Nova does production, we know that. But if you can't get yourself to do the beats or Nova, you have the right to choose whatever producer you want. Now, with that being said, step into the booth. Do you swear to spit the lyrics, the whole lyrics, none but the lyrics, and kill this beat with your bars? Did you have your right hand on the mic and left hand in the air? Are you sure you did it right? All right, we'll step into the booth. Tom McDonald, sheeple. Bars. Let's get it. All right, Tom, what you got? What you got, Tom? Day that they were civilized, the truth has been so heavily politicized. If you don't know who's controlling you and killing all the little guys, find out who you're not allowed to criticize. Black folks who would never. All right, so here's one thing I will say. Yes, it is true. Sometimes you cannot criticize. We can't go on doing what we're doing. But you know what? This video, how are we going to judge it? Bar, slow, message, crime scene, which is the video. And we're going to make sure we judge this accordingly. Now, here's what we got. We got the iRobot theme going on. You guys saw the movie iRobot came in, out in the early 2000s. Will Smith was the protagonist. And one of the robots in the movie iRobot was the protagonist as well. He changed and ended up being good. On the side of good, he turned blue with the side of Will Smith. And... Tom Brady's ex-wife, Bridget Moyhan. Now, Tom Brady, I know you're going through it. But back then it was Bridget Moyhan. I think I don't know if they divorced by then or she was just doing her own thing. Anyway, Tom McDonald, let's go. Let's let's rewind your court case. You know, in the hip hop court of law, case number RAP 26451. So now. Look at the first part of this video. Sheeple, you got the, the, the tube in his nose. You got the things on his head basically being fed, fed information, which can be from the internet, or it could be from straight up the um, computer itself or social media, or the media itself in the world feeding him information. So therefore, he's absorbing all the BS that has been coming into his brain, per se. All right. Tom McDonald, switch your bars, bro. Humans been controlled since the day that they were civilized. The truth has been so heavily politicized. If you don't know who's controlling you and killing all the little guys, find out who you're not allowed to criticize. That is true. You criticize anybody these days. Are oh, you a hater? No, actually, I'm a disliker. I dislike a lot of things. And a lot of things do not make me a hater. I just dislike it. So that's what we're saying. If I dislike something, then guess what? I just dislike it. So that's how we're going to do it. All right. You, you feel what I'm saying? Let's go. Yeah, I'm pausing the video a lot. I mean, just let it play. You guys already saw this video. You had all day to see it. So don't worry about me pausing it. I'm just breaking it down and touching on the key points I want to touch on, okay? Therefore, I don't end up in real tort with YouTube. I like being on my fake YouTube court. All right, Tom, come on, let's go. Killing all the little guys, find out who you're not allowed to criticize. Black folks who are never, ever actual slaves, fighting with white folks who ain't actual Nazis. Now, that's a good point. There are black people who have not been actual slaves fighting with white people who are not actual Nazis. So if you have black people who have not been slaves, oh, we were held back for 400 years. We have been not afforded the same opportunities as white people because you white people white people have held us back actually 
your ass weren't there and they were not there. Therefore, those white people have not held you back. Therefore, you black people have not been held back. It's one thing I will, I will say this. If I didn't get a job or any opportunity or whatever, you know whose fault that is? That's mine. I always put it on myself. Let me tell you why I put it on myself. I put it on myself because either A, I didn't do good enough in the job interview. B, yeah, there, there's the hookup. You know somebody or I didn't know somebody and it just didn't work out or I just didn't work out myself. Now, or whatever the situation is, I cannot blame white people because not all white people are against black people. You feel what I'm saying? H-O-G. You know what I'm talking about. Are there situations where minorities have been held back? I'm not going to say black people, I'm going to say minorities in general. Yes, depending on the job title or whatever that is. But you cannot blame that on slavery. It has nothing to do with what's going on now. You cannot blame that on white people who have never been Nazis. Maybe their great, 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 great grandparents or great, great grandparents. Great, 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 great is too far back. Great, great grandparents maybe they did own some slaves maybe they had a maid a butler or whatever i cannot blame present day white people all of them only some all of them are not holding me back or black people back so tom you got a point you got a point there are some black people who have never been slaves blaming stuff and all this crap let's let's see what we get what else what else you got i just happened to come across the post that tom got a new video out so you know i'm got to get to it judge you're a jury Let's go. The actual slaves fighting with white folks who ain't actual Nazis. Controlled by rich folks who use the news to make hate. While elite folks control other political parties. It's a big... Elite political parties, true. It can happen. You know, it, it has been there. Some elites. Do we have the proof? There's some. What about other proof? Yeah, no, you know, it depends on the political party. It depends. Republican, Democrat, Independent, Green, whatever your affiliation is, I don't care. You know, you always hear, well, the, the liberal this, the conservatives that, or the, the Republicans this, the Democrats that. No, anybody in that office, anybody in political office is a liar. I don't care which side you tread on. Blue, red, green, purple, it don't matter. Politicians lie to get to where they at. All politicians will get up in that office, say what they had to say to get up in there, and then, and then guess what? Nothing happens. All of them. All of them. I don't care who it is. So quit with the liberal conservative because truth be told, some of y'all are liberal and some of y'all are conservative. A singular person is. One person is conservative in these things and a liberal in others. What did I tell y'all a long time ago? Be a free thinker. Think for yourself. Be a free thinker. Look at the eye of God or the Godzilla looking down on Tom and seeing what he has to say with the eye robots ready to take over. All right, Tom, let's go. Folks who ain't actual Nazis, controlled by rich yeah. folks who use the news to make hate, while elite folks control other political parties. It's a big lie, trying to make you pick sides, trying to make you burn the cities down and kill each other. They got sick minds, big lies, keep on the police so that there's big crime to take away our freedom to restore order. They let die. Now, defund the police, you know, take away our freedoms to restore orders to let die, you know, destroy your own city. I'm going to tell you something about rioting. I don't care about it. And let me tell you what I think about rioting. You will sit there and whoever, I don't care who you are, will sit there and tear up your own city. Some people are actually rioting for a good cause. Like if so-and-so got killed by such and such person of such and such race, then therefore they're going to riot and tear up the city and all that because justice would not serve. Is it right? No. Is it smart? No. Is it stupid? Yes. Because I'm going to tell you why. Some of these business owners work their asses off to get to where they got. And you're going to burn down and tear your stuff. Let me tell you why. If you burn down, tear this stuff up. Because some of the people out there writing are only out there to get free stuff. They don't even know why they're writing. They just want free stuff. They saw the store. Let's tear it up. It's our meal ticket. Let's go get some free stuff. Sell it. Pawn it off. Whatever. 
You got other people who riot, like I said, for a good cause, but those are the people who do peaceful protests, who will sit there and say, you know what, this action that was on this person was not right. Therefore, I'm going to peacefully protest, and it may, and it may turn out to riot because somewhere in all riots, riots, not peaceful protests, riots, there are an instigator. And guess what? The media is waiting for that instigation to happen so they can cover it. They get their clicks, their views, their ratings go up. But look what happens. People die. People get hurt. People get arrested. Lives are destroyed, meaning businesses are destroyed. Lives are destroyed. Somebody may have got killed. There's too many different variables that could go on in the riot. Now, for those of you talking about men, go protest. Nothing is wrong with protesting. It's in the amendment. Freedom of assembly for peaceful protests. You can do that. So why make fun of them people doing it? All right. Now, the people rioting and really just looking for a free meal ticket to tear up a building and all that because they feel like it. F-O-H. You already know what that means. F-O-H. Come on, Tom. What else you got? Let's go. So that there's big crime to take away our freedom to restore order they let die. Play with people, turn men into women, make the counterculture mainstream to mix up the system, change the pronouns. Of now, all right, all right, look, 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 look. Some of y'all are going to be mad at me about this, but I don't care. I really don't care. Tom, huh? every time you make a video like this, you have, you've made, people are so stupid snowflakes you got sheeple and you got a couple other videos i can't remember the name on off top right now why is it that you keep bringing up the pronoun stuff you bring up black white pronouns men to women blm you to to be honest right now now you you starting to repeat yourself because the only reason i say that the only reason I say that is this. There's really nothing to talk about. Like your political run, in my opinion, in my opinion, this political run is over, bro. There's really nothing else to talk about because now that I heard you mention that again, the pronouns that you brought up in every other video when you're talking about people being controlled about blah, 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 check the songs. If y'all don't believe me, HOG, I ain't knocking y'all. No hate, no none of that crap. All I'm saying is this. It is is at the point. No shame. That's where I'm at with it. it you're, you're repeating yourself, man. Let's run it. Let's run it. You, you said this is supposed to be the best video ever made. Uh-uh. I've seen you do better. To be honest, this beat. Now that da -da 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 I've heard that beat before. Great storyteller on YouTube. You don't know Mr. Ballin? That's I've heard that. And if you hear any late 80s, early 90s sci-fi music, you hear that in there too. Da -da 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 Mr. Ballin got that in his videos too. But I just happened to peep that out. Tom, you're repeating yourself. But let's play it. Let's play it. I'm still gonna discuss it. Let's go. Turn men into women, make the counterculture mainstream to mix up the system, change the pronouns of gender is a spectrum, so is privilege. I know poor white folks and black celebrities with millions. Privilege, pronouns, you mentioned that in other videos. See, now I'm at the point I'm about to call some of this stuff out. I can't even speak on it because I already spoke on it before. I'm actually, damn, I'm kind of repeating myself. All right, let's go though, because you are too. Come on. They starve you with a lack of information and only give you facts through a branded corporation. Distort your worldview with an algorithm that changes based on propaganda curated for your engagement. We can't be free. Here we go. Tom, I pretty much know your whole style. All right. You're going to say your verse. And da 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 and then, okay, then you're going to say in black and brown and black people and white people in the media, which you brought up in other videos. And. The pronouns, stuff like that, you brought up in other videos. And you and you always do this. If you own this, and check it out. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you right here. Age me. We can't be free. Hold up. Let me rewind it back. He's going to go. 
He's go he always ends his verse like this. And da 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 and say da da da. Pause, then the chorus. He do it every song. He ends with a punch. And slight pause, maybe half a second, then the chorus come in. The changes based on propaganda curated for your engagement. We can't be free. Every video he does that. Every video. I noticed that's it's almost like a trademark by now. You already know how I feel about the chorus. I really don't be feeling his choruses, so let's see what you got. Me. We can't be free. Can't have no peace till we're on the same team, but y'all are sheep. Blue the screams just part of the machine. Y'all are sheep. What do y'all believe? Oh, my sheep. Nothing's what it seems. I'm not feeling that chorus. I'm not. Y'all are sheep, oh, and nothing. No, you kind of done something like this already. I'm not. And the orange ski mask with the bulletproof vest. You been did that in some videos too. Like other reactors may get off on this, but right now I'm. I can't. I I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. Let's go. We're going to finish it out, though. We're going to finish it out. Come on. What do y'all believe? Oh, my sheep. Nothing's what it seems. Hollywood been right in your brain, controlling your mouth. You say lit, fleet, bet, cap. They trying to dumb you down. They endorse whatever. Yeah, lit, fleet, cringe, all that. I hate those words. You, you're right on that one. You're right. I can't stand that. I mean, it is dumbing people down. Oh, man, that's lit. That's so fire. That's 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 on fleek. If when you say on fleek, mean that's a good thing. You know that's your clothes is tight, your your car is on tight. You know that's fleek, that's lit. Same thing, that's fire, that's lit. It, it's pretty much the same thing. You know, yeah, people are dumbed down. Kids don't know how to talk these days, and they damn sure don't know how to talk to each other about. They literally sitting right next to each other, texting each other. They can't talk to each other in real life. But social media has took away sociability. People are not social anymore because they are always on social media. So I will give you that. Sad. Let's go. Right in your brain, controlling your mouth. You say lit, fleet, bet, cap. They're trying to dumb you down. Cap. They endorse whatever narrative is popular to shop. Cap. That's another one. That's cap. I hate that. That's cap. Meaning you're lying. For those who don't know, when you hear that, that's cap. Meaning you're lying. I can't stand that neither. That's cap. You're right, Tom. You're right. I'm getting tired of hearing that. Grown people saying it. The moment I hear somebody say that or read it in a comment section, man, you cap. That's cap. You young. Already tells me you young. I have nothing else to say to you. And I will call you out for it. Man, that's cap. Yeah, well, you know what? So is your conversation. So I'm out. There's no talking to you because you're young and immature. That tells me everything I know. If I hear grown people, which I have, grown people talking about something that's cap, I'm done talking to you. I'm done. Sorry, it's just the way it is. Let's go. Right in your brain, controlling your mouth. You say lit, fleet, bet, cap. They're trying to dumb you down. They endorse whatever narrative is popular to shout and use minorities in yep. movies for diversity clout. Two sides on the spectrum, but ain't none of them. Now, here we go. When people talk about, oh, they put so-and-so in, they changed this actor, this character, to black, to be woke. First of all, let me tell you what I, about the word woke. Y'all, some of y'all, a lot of y'all, don't even know how to use the word woke correctly. Woke means you have been enlightened. You have learned something new. For example, if, let's say, um, Let's say something about history. Let's let's use, I don't know, Mayans. We'll say Mayans. The Mayans have created, they had this calendar, and this calendar predicted the end of the world, and the end of the world, you know, I did that's knowledge I did not know. And they was um technically more advanced back then than we are than more than what we suspected. Now I'm woke. Wow, my eyes are open. Man. Now people who took the word woke 
and you put in a diverse person, a male, female, whatever. Oh, they're trying to be woke. Oh, I can't stand this movie. They're trying to be woke. Disney's trying to be woke. Marvel's trying to be woke. Uh, DC's trying to be woke. This show, this movie, this whatever. Oh, they're they're trying to be woke. That's not what it means. It's called diversity. And not to mention, you guys are getting mad over a fake ass character, especially y'all comic book people. They trying to be woke. It's fake. It ain't even real. Like, chill out. And that word woke, oh my God. You, people who say woke and they don't know how to use it, I call them out too. Learn how to use it right. The word racist. If I say I don't like a certain person, well, they may have to be white. Oh, you racist. First of all, that's not how you use it. Racist means I am superior. I feel superior over another race. Duh. White, Hispanic. Indian, Native American, it don't matter. If I cannot stand all of them, that is racist. If I am not hiring you at a job because of your skin color, I am prejudiced. If I say black people talk with so much slang and they're so funny, and next black person I see, like, well, I bet you talk with slang. That means stereotype. That's not racist. People need to learn how to use these words correctly, and I'm going to teach them. Let's go, Tom. Bring it. Two sides on the spectrum, but ain't none of them honest. Took the red pill and the blue pill, spit them both in the garbage. Being it, woke, you... Please get that. There you go, Tom. I woke. But these red pill, blue pill? Oh, I'm red pill. Women is this. The modern woman. Blah, 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 blah. Red pill. Can't stand that red pill mess. Whatever. Get out of here. I know y'all saw videos about that too. Red pill, blue pill, you know, this ain't the matrix. Me in real life. Some of y'all are so stuck on fake reality, social media. You guys don't even know what real life is anymore. Tom is spitting some knowledge. I will give it to him. Tom, Tom, you, you bringing up some points, even though he has brought this up before. But it's reminding me how stupid society has gotten these days. Let's go, Tom. I'm honest. Took the red pill and the blue pill, spit them both in the garbage. Being woke used to mean you understood you're a target, and now it's having too good. Aiming at. Being woke does not mean you understood you as a target. So now I disagree with that point. It de Woke does not mean... Woke has took the form of many legs. It has taken the form of a lot of things. But it does not mean you as a target. It means you are enlightened. Woke. Like when you wake up from sleep. Are you woke? Yeah, I'm woke. I'm awake. That doesn't mean I'm a target. So when I wake up from my sleep, am I a target? No. Woke means you are woke. You're aware. You're, you're, you're seeing the world for what it is. That is woke. Having different women play a part or a black person or a Native American or Hispanic or a white person took over a black part. Whatever. That's not what woke is. That does not mean you're aware. Woke actually meant awareness. Not target, not anything. So, Tom, you're wrong on that one. Now, different parts of the country may use the word woke differently. So, I will give you that. However, it's not what it means. H-O-G, I'm trying to tell you. I live in this world. I don't blame white people for anything because, come on now, this is stupid. I got white friends. I got friends of every nationality, to be honest. So, Come on now, let's go. Being woke used to mean you understood you're a target, and now it's having two good legs and never taking a step forward. If you agree, it's free speech. Disagree, it's hate speech. Erase it if it came from anywhere except the mainstream. Trump's a racist. If it came from anywhere except the mainstream, eh, erase it if it came from anywhere except oh, the mainstream. Let, forward. It if back. you agree, it's free speech. Disagree, it's hate speech. Erase it if it came from anywhere except the mainstream. Trump supporters labeled as the racist, but they can't be. Lincoln was Republican, and that's who ended slavery. Science. Been a lot of y'all don't know that, which is crazy. Lincoln was a Republican. He's the one that ended slavery. Actually, the Republicans were the ones for black people. The Democrats was against it, the North and South. Lincoln was on the North. I think, what, 1869, I think? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, slavery was abolished around that time, I would say. I Don't quote me on it. It was around that time, I believe. That's just the number that came in my head. I think that's it. However, the Republicans were the ones in the North that was against slavery in the South. The South was ran by Democrats. 
So at uh, through the course of time, it got flipped. So therefore, a lot of people now think Democrats because a lot of them, it, it the somewhere the political party shifted, and the way it was back then, the terms were different. The way people held black people and all that to a different standard was different, and white people to a different standard. The North and South. People don't know the Civil War was about a lot of it was about freeing slaves and all that stuff too, but it was a lot more to it. So when you think about it, Lincoln was a Republican. So automatically, if somebody's Republican, they're racist. No, Democrats was actually the other way. This is why I don't affiliate with no freaking party, and I'm I'm not none of that. I'm not independent. I'm not none. I don't care. Whoever gets in that office and runs it the best is who I run with. And no, I don't vote. I'll just put that out there. Nope. Oh, well, you can't complain because you don't vote. Oh, yes, I can because I still live in this country. I'm not saying I hate the country. I also don't like the way some of the government is ran. Like all y'all. All y'all. So even those who say, man, if you don't like to leave the country, some of y'all hate the way it's ran too. That's why you said what you said. Come on now. Tom, yes, you may be repeating some stuff, but you know what? I'm still going to comment on it because it's just additional thoughts. My opinion, free speech, free thinker. Let's go. Can't be. Lincoln was Republican and that's who ended slavery. Science been politicized, it's easy to see. A mask became a symbol of which side you believe. But you'll never cure a sickness till you cure the greed. Because the problem with our natural immunity is it's free. Society is broken, want you locked inside a cubicle. Addicted to pornography, liquor, and pharmaceuticals. Tell you they- That is true. I don't know how people get addicted to pornography. I mean, if you want sex, go get it live. Get it yourself. I can't sit there and be addicted to pornography, addicted to liquor, addicted to pharmaceuticals. That's just stupid. I never understood that. Some people are, no knock on y'all, because like Tom said, recover, recovering alcoholic himself, recovering. So therefore, I cannot knock people. I just say the concept is stupid, not the people who were on it is stupid. The concept itself. People get on it for various different ways, and I sympathize with that. And I sit there and I hope and I wish everybody the best. If you are addicted to any of that stuff, any addiction, I hope you beat it. Because, hell, I ain't gonna lie, I got my addiction my own self, Rockstar, right here. So, let me take a sip of it now. I'm gonna show you my addiction. I love Rockstar. But it wakes me up. Anyway, it go. So, I'm just letting y'all know. Those who are going through a severe addiction, a real life addiction, not to make light of it, but I hope everybody the best and I wish they were the best. But I'm just saying the one thing I will say, people have lost their jobs due to some of these things like pornography, alcohol, drug use, pharmaceuticals, you know, pills, things like that. Um, hell, we a lot of places is legal. Some places is not. So I'm just saying. I'm I'm really hoping the best for a lot of y'all. So let's let's keep it moving. No shame. Let's go. Society is broken. Want you locked inside a cubicle? Addicted to pornography, liquor, and pharmaceuticals. Tell you that you're fat and poor and you were never beautiful. Then tweet how much they love you when they hear about your funeral. We yeah. So that's one thing I will say. When people die, that's when that's why a lot of people now, if you guys been seeing been seeing the uh the saying, give this person their flowers while they're still here. Don't wait until they die. That's one thing because a funeral is like, I'm gonna go to your funeral and say all the wonderful and good things about you that you've done for me. That's basically what a funeral is. I miss my grandma, so and so, my uncle, my dad, my mom, whoever, because they done this for me, blah, blah, blah. But never in the funeral have you do you hear I'm gonna miss so and so RIP. These are the things I did to try to help them. They were overweight or underweight or anorexic. These are the things I tried to help them. I'm gonna miss them so much because they were there for me and I wanted to be there for them. I hate that it ended this way, so forth and so on. Not when they was here, they done this for me and they was this. And you would get that, you know, they were so full of life and blah, blah, blah. Then why didn't you tell them that? I wish they was here so I could tell them to their face. Tell them that why they're still here. Don't wait until they die. My announcement, ladies and gentlemen, I've lost my uncle yesterday. My mother and my aunt found him 
deceased. He had a massive heart attack. He was a health freak, just like me. He was ex-Marine, so he was military. He he was a good man, and uh, he had he had his demons as well. I'm not saying he was this by all means the greatest person ever. He had he had his demons. He was he was rough around the edges, to to say it like that. But that was my uncle. And they found him deceased. He had a massive heart attack. And I spoke with my mother today. And my mom basically said, you know, as we on this funeral topic, as my mother told me today, and I would have been gone driving to another state to go see them. But as my mother said, she told, he told her bye. Or he said hi. And she said hi. She took him out, closed the door. And, you know, he went downstairs two hours later, her sister, my aunt, his sister, um, and my grandmother walked in and found him deceased in the car. And my mom came ran downstairs, checking the post. He's gone. Eyes open. Keys still in his hand. He had one foot in the car, sitting down like you're getting into a car. And he was gone for two hours. My mom was taking a nap. Never knew her brother was my uncle yesterday. In the car, gone. So I'll be going to a funeral here in a week or two. And him and my aunt went through something that I went up there and to go deal with a month ago to go check him. And we had some words. We did smooth it out before I left. I told him I loved him. You're still my uncle. Just you can't be tripping with my mom and, you know, aunt, your sisters in front of grandma, your mother, my grandma, you know. Family dynamic. And we left on good terms. So I'm not regretful of anything. Before he passed, just two days ago, him and my aunt made up. They started talking again. Because you know what she said? You're dead to me. That's how bad it was last month. She told him that. And two days ago, they just made up. And today, and yesterday, it's gone. So, had they not made up, it would have been heavy on my aunt's heart. And it would have been heavy on my heart had I left last month without telling him I loved him and we made up on good terms. Not me threatening him, saying, don't make me come back up here again. I'm not that little kid anymore. But we left on good terms. So, people, call your friends, call your family, tell them you love them, call your kids. Whoever you have grudges with, Squash it. Here today, gone tomorrow. Massive heart attack. And uh, it sucks. It really do. But I'm here for y'all, here for the videos. We got to keep rolling. Let's go. Sorry to take up y'all time. I just had to get that since he brought that up. But like he said, giving people their flowers. Why didn't you tell them that? Why they was here? So just to let you know, true story from me to y'all. Peace of me to y'all. So let's go, Todd. Let's go. Tweet how much they love you when they hear about your funeral. We can't be free. Can't have no oh, peace till we're on the same team. But y'all are sheep. Blue disgrace is part of the machine. Y'all are sheep. I mean, he is kind of right. People are sheeple. They do just follow trends and follow whatever's hot because they can hide behind a keyboard and just say whatever. Because some of the stuff y'all say online, y'all damn sure won't say somebody's face. I ain't gonna lie. I'll say what I gotta say to your face. I'm at that point now because life is short. So let them know. Quit being sheep. Think for yourself, free thinker. I've always said that. Come on, Tom. Screams as part of the machine. Y'all are sheep. What do y'all believe? Oh, my sheep. So basically, you're all my people, you're all my sheep. I've never liked his choruses, but I mean, I get what he's saying. Let's go. Nothing's what it seems. If they can't convince you, they confuse you. They want you dumb and dead. They divided you by race, religion, income, and sex. Made everybody. True that. True that. Now, we'll say to divide you, race, religion, income, and sex. Man, politics too. People are so divided over things like that. Race, we're divided. Income, we're definitely divided. Um, wait, race, politics, income, oh, religion, yes, sex, 
yes, male, female, these pronouns, him, she, they, them. I mean, her. I don't identify with this or they or them or them, that person or whatever. The, the LGBTQ plus is almost hard to say because they're adding more and more stuff to it. So the transgenders, there's so many divisions going on through whatever. I mean, you already got divisions with all kinds of stuff, gangs, um, hell, stereotypes. You got division based on your job status at work, at your own job. Look at who you hang with at, at work, at school. Look at the people who you hang with, how you divide it. The quote-unquote nerds over there, the quote-unquote smart people and geniuses over there, the jocks over there, the 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 studs over there, the bullies over there, the the popular people over there. You divide it in school. You divide it at work. The higher class people, the bosses and the crew chiefs, team leads, all that over there. And then you have, I just knows I got a damn bleach stain on my damn jersey, on my sweatshirt. Oh, well, anyway. But then on the other side of your job, you have your regular employees, your popular employees, just like school. Watch the sheeple get into their little groups and you'll see how it is. So. Yeah, Tom is right. People are followers. And don't let you think you're about to get a raise because all of a sudden you're going to be hanging with the bosses and team leads. Or you've seen people like that hanging all of a sudden with the boss and team leads. So that already tells you, oh, so-and-so about to get promoted because all of a sudden they over there. They don't talk to you over here. Come on now. Tell them, Tom. Let's go. If they can't convince you, they confuse you. They want you dumb and dead. They divided you by race, religion, income, and sex. Made everybody right and left. The hatred got so intense. If the other side likes oxygen, you'll put a bag on your head. And yep, the conspiracy yep. theories. The other side likes oxygen. Put a bag on your head. Also known as a death mask. So once you get that bag over your head, you can't breathe. You'll die with that mask. Lack of oxygen. So, yes. Tom, double and Tondra, let's go. Metaphor. Oxygen, you'll put a bag on your head. And the conspiracy theories labeled this misinformation is just a terrifying truth that scares the hell out of the nation. The system. Oh no. Conspiracy theories, terrifying truth. Okay. Is there aliens? Yeah, that's one. Maybe, maybe not. Is that a terrifying truth? Or other conspiracy theories. Oh, they said, you know, who's that dude, the conspiracy theorist that's on trial now for spreading the information and then come out and say, you know, he was lying. Not all conspiracy theories are true, but not they all not false either. They came from somewhere. But if you think about it, look at the comment sections on YouTube or anywhere on YouTube, social media, and something could happen and watch the conspiracy theories fly. It is out there, but people only say it because one, okay, here's one thing I will say. A lot of people who put out these conspiracy theories only think linear. They can't think circular. They can't see from every angle like I can. Maybe it was drugs. Maybe they wanted to commit suicide. Maybe something happened to the car. Maybe it was just an accident. Maybe they wanted to commit suicide, but they changed their mind, but then this happened. What if they wanted to be unalive for real? And they just, something happens. Or it didn't happen. It was a malfunction. Think circular linear wait until the facts come out but then again are they really facts once the media puts it out so you know there's the other conspiracy theory so a lot of people run with that too yeah this video is about to be long because you know me i'm about to break it all down let's go label this misinformation is just a terrifying truth that scares the hell out the nation the system treating you like trash and you got rifles to aim with just imagine how they'll treat you when your guns get confiscated george orwell you guys really think the guns would get confiscated because that's the other conspiracy theories all oh, they're trying to take our guns and Gun control. They saying we can't have guns and uh, they can't have this. So would it get confiscated? I don't know. I mean, they do have these these rallies that go on. Hey, turn your guns in. We'll give you a five hundred dollar gift certificate to Kroger's or some shit like that. You know, just bringing your guns in. And you know, there's some people who turn their guns in because I get it. You want to have some kind of control of the guns when it comes to guns on the street illegally purchased guns but when a mass shooter decides they want to do something horrible but they legally bought a gun because they had nothing on their background 
They passed all the checks. They did whatever they were supposed to do. They got it, did what they did. They get caught, they get off, they're unalive. And then they say, mental health, blah, blah, blah. How to get the gun? Oh, it was purchased legally. Then all of a sudden gun control. Well, if it was done legally, you can't be mad. He mad at the shooter, not the gun. The gun didn't do the killing. The shooter just aimed in that direction and they pulled the trigger. So why would you need gun control for legally buying people? Because anybody can legally buy a gun and go do something clownish. Like me, you, anybody, somebody you know. I could go legally purchase a firearm and go do something clownish. I won't claim mental health. I'll just say, hey, I was just mad and I did what I did. Now you're going to start screaming gun control because I just wiped out, say, over 30 people. And, but I did legally. Because there's damn sure ain't nothing in my background. I don't have no mental health problems. So, would it be gun control? Yeah, they're going to scream gun control. Because they're going to dig all of my background and look for something. And they won't find nothing. So, you can't scream gun control then. So, illegally purchase weapons. Legally purchase weapons. Anybody could do some clown-ish. But I really don't think they're going to sit there and take the guns. I don't think so. Are they trying? I don't know. Some of y'all may think so. Who knows? Let's go. Crash and you got rifles to aim with. Just imagine how they'll treat you when your guns get confiscated. George Orwell, 1984 was his last lecture. George called them thought police. Now we call them fact checkers. Government surveillance trying to... Checkers. Got a fact check. Got a fact check. Always got a fact check. That's what we call them. Let's go. Fact checkers, government surveillance trying to catch you. They don't ask questions. Mass incarceration equals capital for cash investors. Yep. Mass incarceration. You got so many people in the prison system. That's money. That's a gold mine for a lot of people, especially the people who build prisons. You know, the United States got the highest population in the world of people in prison. So why is the cash cow? It makes and generates revenue. But. Now is at the point, depending on what presidents in turn releases so many people per year, pardons and all this other stuff. And it's almost like a turkey. A turkey gets pardoned for being killed. So somebody gets pardoned from being in prison. It's kind of ridiculous. You just pick and choose. How you pick and choose? It gets pardoned. But then again, the mass incarceration, you're still making the money. So you ain't really saving nothing. So I get it. Let's go. Don't ask questions. Mass incarceration equals capital for cash investors. The system isn't broke. See the eye of God still looking at him like, man, what you talking about? We're telling the truth, Tom. Got the eye robot. Somebody ready to jump up out of there. Let's go. And him playing the part of Will Smith. So you got the whole eye robot theme there. Will Smith wore a black leather jacket too. Let's go. And he was a detective. So Tom, being Detective Tom, is going out there, put the truth out there for y'all. It's working fine. Oppressive and chaotic is how it uh -oh. was designed. They say See that? That's a free thinker right there. I am going to think for myself. It's time for me to break from the line. Hold the line. Nope. He's breaking the line. Let's go. If we ain't doing nothing wrong, there's nothing to hide. While their agenda and intelligence completely classified. They don't I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I hate the term agenda as well. Man, there's an agenda, the agenda, the agenda. They're being they was sacrificed. There was, what, what's the other one? It was a sacrifice. It was a ritual. Hollywood ritual, blah, blah, blah. The sacrifice, blah, blah. No, that person was dead. And it wasn't a ritual. You just did something stupid to fit into whatever club you're trying to get into. Let's go. Nothing wrong, there's nothing to hide. While their agenda and intelligence completely classified. They don't teach your rights in school. You never learn them at all. Because they're easy to remove if you don't know what they are. The only people. That is true. Did you know Texas is also trying to remove slavery out these school books? Actually, they they actually passed a law this year. I think it was in July or September. So they was taking slavery, the subject of slavery, out of school because they didn't they don't want these. I forgot what city is close to Dallas, I believe, somewhere in there in the south of Texas. But they're trying to take slavery. What well, they did, they voted to pass a law and to take slavery out of the school system. So guess what? You can't learn something you didn't know. You don't know what you don't know. I don't know what I don't know. So a lot of y'all don't know what you don't know. Now our kids damn sure ain't going to know what they don't know. Why? Because the school systems don't want y'all to know it. Oh, hell no. Let's go. Well, you can rule all the criminal ones. So they force you in the corners till you're breaking the law. We can't be free. No. Can't have 
no peace till we're on the same team, but y'all are sheep. We can't have peace until we're on the same team, but y'all are sheep. He is true. Until we're on the same team. Even this comment section is about to be divided. Some of y'all are going to like what I said. Some of y'all ain't going to like what I said. But there's one thing you're going to do. You're going to respect what I said. Because I don't flow one way or the other. I just put out my opinion. My opinion is not fact. It's what I think at the moment that I say it. I could come back later and say, hey, based on the opinion that I had in this video, I looked up said subject I was talking about and I found out here is the fact that I know from Google or whatever from somebody who knows more than me. So my opinion is now invalid because I have now found the facts to go with the opinion to either bump it out or merge it together as is now a fact. It's just an opinion. I'm not a sheeple. I will Google something in a minute. The only person who could challenge me on knowledge right now is Google, because I know a lot and Google knows a lot and we'll go toe to toe. Because guess what? Wikipedia can be changed by anybody. So I'll dig and dig and dig. Google. Guys, think for yourselves. When you want to know something, just go look it up. Not conspiracy stuff. Not whatever. Look for the truth based on what you should know it to be. Proof. Why? You don't want this. Don't come at me with no BS. I'm just saying. Because I'll, I'll outdo you real quick. You're going to come at me, some of y'all, few of y'all, may come at me with some of y'all opinions and I will blow you up with some facts. Because trust me, my opinion doesn't mean fact, but I will find the facts and let you have it. However, if you correct me on something that I am wrong, I will accept that. I am not the, let's agree to disagree. I'm like, wow, I see what you're saying. That makes sense. But do you see what I'm saying, where I'm coming from? You do? Cool. I see where you're coming from, too. We may disagree, but at least we understand why we have the position that we have. One of us is right. One of us is wrong. Or we both could be right. We just have two different levels of the information. Merge that together, both of us could be right, and I respect the hell out what you're saying. That's how you dialogue and debate. How you think debate works. One person debates, the other person counters. He has that fact that you just brought up. Just like you had the fact that they brought up. Except you're going to bring up things to clash with the other person's opinions. You both know it. Numbers, 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 letters, numbers, statistics, statistics. That's how it works. But at the same time, you both got the same truth. Come on now. Let's go. That's how we do it. Come on, Tom. Same team, so just because I disagree with some things with Tom does not mean that I dislike what he's saying. I would say I just disagree. He does his research like I do. So we both could be right on the same thing. We just have different opinions of that topic. That's his opinion. I have my opinion. That don't mean I'm against them because some of y'all tried to get at me before and I lit y'all up. So it's just because y'all wouldn't see it no other way. And while we're on the subject, why the hell some of y'all defend him so hard? Like if I say, man, this song is trash, which I'm not. But if I say, man, this song is trash, that's my opinion. Because you like it, cool. I may say it's trash. Somebody may say, it's, oh, it's all right. Some may say it's a masterpiece, and some may say, yeah, it's cool. Look at all them different opinions off of what they thought of the song. So don't be mad because of, I don't like Tom. Man, F you, you a hater. Like he said, no, I'm a disliker. I dislike this particular song, or I dislike him as an artist, but he makes good songs sometimes. I like Tom. I really do. I'm just saying. I'm just giving out hypotheticals. Before some of y'all try to jump through the screen and jump my comments in the jury section. And then we're going to have to go to the judges chambers. And I'm really going to have to get at y'all. I don't want to. I'm just saying. Damn, Tom. Why you always make me so controversial? Man, Tom always brings this out of me. But that's what that's the thing Tom does. That's his lane. I got to laugh about that. Tom does that. But that's why I like him. Because he's not afraid to say what he's going to say. And I damn sure ain't afraid to say what I want to say. But I respect the hell out of this man. and But I do get tired of the political songs. I ain't gonna lie. I wanna see Tom rap rap. And I know he can do it. Trust me. Trust me. I know he can. I just get tired of it. But when I react to it, yeah. All of them, no. 
but I had to check it out. It's been a minute, Tom. Let's go. So we're on the same team, but y'all the sheep. Oh! Lucas screams just part of the machine. Y'all are sheep. Oh! Okay, I guess we're in the chorus. Guess what? It's time for the verdict. Now, here's what we're going to say about the verdict. The verdict is, uh, I got to give him general population. This song only. You want to know why? He's done too many of these. So I can't put it in no status. I know other reactors probably jumping out their chairs, acting the goddamn fool. Oh, my God. Tom did it again. Tom speaking the truth. Y'all done said that by every Tom video. F y'all other reactors. All I'm saying is this. Tom, you already did this a few times. I challenge you. I challenge you to do something else. Please do something else. Like really rap, rap, like rap. Put out some songs, like some heat, some fire. This is your avenue. This is your lane. You found the political lane. This is what you do. You have your crowd. You got your HOG that will always support you. Hell, Tom, I want to interview you. Hit me up. But yeah, HOG, get at Tom. Tell him to hit up LeCain Face Famous. Tell him to hit up Face Famous. I want to talk to Tom. I want to go toe to toe with Tom myself. And talk to him. Let's pick our brains and let's come up with some fire for y'all. But um, I will say this. I got to give you general population. Because this song is definitely on pro on flowbation. Like that. Flowbation. It's on flowbation. Because he already flowed something like this before. A few times already, actually. Go look it up. He already did other things about society. This is what I call the society song. He got the political songs. This one, the society song. He's done a few of these already. Um, the concept, the video was good. I, robot, everybody's in line. You know, we're all robots. We're all sheeple, white. Um, he has the Will Smith jacket on like Will Smith did in the, in the movie, I, robot. One of the robots broke from the ranks to think for themselves. I get the concept. Somebody has to step and think for themselves. So that's what he's saying. Um, the eye in the sky, basically, it could be... It could be freaking God. It could be anything, but I like that concept. The orange mask, the bulletproof vest, you've done that already. I'm not too, it's whatever, you've done that. I, I think that's his rebellion outfit. I noticed when he's rebellion, and when he's in his rebellion mode, the orange mask and the vest come on. Like, hey, I'm the one shooting these shots of lyrics at y'all. So... I got to put you on flobation. You are not the songs in general population. You're not. You're still in solitary confinement. We come out, let you play for a little bit. You came out. You did your thing. You played with them. I got to put you back to solitary. Um, yeah, I got to give it flobation. You know, that's, that's the best I could give it right now. Just because you've done stuff like this. I, he gave up great talking points. I love that. Um that they, he brought out a lot more in me that I wanted to say that I didn't say because I haven't done a video like this in a minute. So, Tom, God dang it, you did it again. You make me talk about your ass, which means we got a long ass video. Sit through it, get your popcorn. But, um, yeah, you did what you had to do. Flobation. So, this is this face famous. Guess what? We out.